We are at the Roxy Cinema. We are here to celebrate uh, three wonderful conservation innovators who are going to win our WWF Conservation Innovation Awards, uh, which is $25,000 that are going to go towards their project to bring it to life and bring it to market. I'm delighted to announce the first award and the winner is Thermal Animal Detection Systems by Trap and Trigger. So what we have here is a solution to covering more area and getting greater benefits for conservation's money. What we've done is we created a concept that was not limited to the topography, not limited to the vegetation, and also extremely mobile, so it can get in any helicopter and go do the job. We needed some support, we needed some traction, and just we needed that, that last boost in our funding to get things off the ground, to get things into the air, literally. We're super stoked, and um, I just can't thank you guys enough. The next winner is Real-Time E. coli Sensor by Water Action Initiative New Zealand. Winning the award again this year for a, another piece of technology is quite an honour. To me personally means that we are on the right track and those doors that opened actually moved us in a direction to be able to develop um, the C. coli sensor, which is a world first. And this is going to change the way people deal with fresh water all over the world. So I'd just like to thank everyone again for this award. It means a lot to us um, and thank you again for your support. So the final award goes to Grid Eye Pest Detective by Gerald Dickinson. It's a thermal imaging device. It pretty much identifies warm-blooded animals, the rats, the mice, uh, stoats. It can identify when they're moving around and what, what the animal is. The goal of this um, Grid Eye is to make it obtainable by anyone, anyone with a, a predator-free objective. And hopefully by this time next year, it might even end up in someone's Christmas stocking. <laughs> Many smart people have been thinking about conservation issues like predator control, water quality, climate change, fisheries and the like for many, many years, but many of these issues are still critical. This kind of suggests that there's an opportunity for innovation, for a different type of thinking to come into play to a much greater degree than it has in the past. I think it's really important for people to be involved and for us to recognise that it's the citizens of this country that are the innovators and that's the really exciting bit about awards like tonight. They recognise all the hard work that people do out there in the environment and that's what this is all about. Innovation is all about finding that tipping point and bringing about ideas that are real game changers, moving the dial in a really, really big way. And we're really keen to find those innovative ideas because business as usual is no longer an option.